Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the important messages the cards want to reveal for you at this time, okay? So this is not going to resonate for each and every one of you. And with that being said, you may want to check Libra and your other signs for important messages. I want to thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, subscriptions. I appreciate guys so much. And if you would also like to check my friend's channel, the link is down below. So let's begin. This is for Libra. We ask for insights and guidance, please, Spirit, for Libra. What does Libra need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, let's see. So first card out is the Wheel of Fortune. This is followed by the Knight of Pentacles energy, the Four of Cups. You might be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Nine of Wands, the Temperance. This is Sagittarius, the Six of Pentacles energy. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. We have here the Six of Wands. All right, so... Take this how it ever resonates, Libra. I feel like you were heading towards some type of direction. You were making progress. This may be work. This may be relationship for some of you. But then all of a sudden, you encountered a minor setback, all right? It's as if plans were going very smoothly here. Then there was unforeseen change. And I'm seeing that this is causing you a lot of pressure, a lot of burden, um, you might also be worried, is this going to happen? Is this going to manifest? How do I overcome this minor setback? So with Wheel of Fortune, it's important for you to know, Libra, that there might be some higher forces at play here. It's the understanding that there are things that are within your control and there might be actually things that are beyond your control at this time. All right, but you will soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is just a minor setback, whatever this is. These cards may also ask you to step into your ability to be strong, resilient, and brave. You are almost there is what the cards are saying, especially with Nine of Wands energy. This is not the time to give up. Whatever this is, and with Temperance card, it's important to trust in divine timing. Even though you encounter delay, minor setbacks, all right? This talks about perseverance. All right. I feel like your hard works and efforts are going to be close to a state of some form of completion here. Always remember that you have the strength within you, the patience, the wisdom to keep up your momentum. Now, with Nine of Pentacles, you might also be dealing with somebody who's biding their time right now. If this speaks about a relationship, it could be that you are both incredibly close towards heading towards the next stage here, but all of a sudden, there is this flux in the current situation. This may not resonate for each and every one of you, okay? Um, something is hindering the advancement here. It could be some form of worry, limited thinking that's getting in the way. I feel like what the cards are saying, you both need a fresh understanding of how to shift things for the better. What I'm seeing with the Nine of Wands as well, there might be some type of pressure it's either on your end or on this person's end. Like all of a sudden, somebody felt the pressure and this really created boundaries between you both or a wall between you both. And now I feel like somebody is holding back from really expressing themselves, opening up. You see, there's not a lot of sword in this reading, so I feel like there could be lack of communication at this time. Now take this however resonates. There might have been actually an unforeseen argument or fight but something may have also blown out of proportion here. It's important not to hold on to any feelings of resentment, anger, all right? And temperance is about forgiveness as well, seeing both sides of the situation. Another message for you, Libra, is to avoid doing anything extreme right now. The message of the temperance is to keep things in moderation, especially in the area of giving and receiving. This means that if you feel you have been putting so much work in and the situation is still not moving forward, you may need to take the time, hit that pause button, you know, and don't overextend yourself. Wait for the right moment or let this person come to you if this is the case. Now with the moon card, how you also perceive things may have a very huge impact on the outcome here, Libra. 
it's important here to release any subconscious feelings of being tormented about something all right because that then this may lead to a sense of you being judged or you being criticized by someone i see that this might be a good time to really work on balance with the temperance mind body and spirit don't overthink the situation too much okay now libra you might also be dealing with a pisces here with the six of wands energy Typically, the moon card shows up when something is not being revealed to you just yet. It can also mean that you're starting to feel confused over this. A situation is not clear at this time. But like I said, it's not going to be a permanent energy. All right, soon there will be a positive shift in this situation. It might be that you need to withhold any final decisions about the matter until you get the clarity that you deserve, that you need here, okay? Another message of the moon card also speaks about turmoil. It may be a good time for somebody to not hesitate to reach out. It could be somebody's hesitating to reach out. Or somebody needs to try to acknowledge what is causing them to feel this way. What is causing them to detach, to withdraw. Um, somebody needs to confront their fears. Somebody also needs to develop a stronger sense of confidence. Whoever you are dealing with, if this is connect, uh, connected to a romantic connection... It could be that somebody is doubting themselves, lacking the self-confidence to approach you. They're second-guessing themselves here, Libra. And there could be a lot of reasons for this, but it definitely boils down to fear, right? Sometimes we hesitate decision and action when it's definitely needed, but it really just boils down to some type of fear, all right? And I feel like this is what they kept from you, what they kept hidden from you with the moon card as well as deeper insecurities that may have been plaguing their emotions, shadow thoughts, and feelings. So it may be a good time for them to explore this, good time to work with their shadow and connect with the root of their feelings. So I feel like your job right now, Libra, is to just stay in your power, all right? Be very careful of overextending yourself with the Six of Pentacles energy. Otherwise, you may feel as though this is not being reciprocated with the Four of Cups. All right, so I'm also seeing here that you may have also felt that you were rejected by somebody. There was an offer that you made. Take this out of resonates. I feel like somebody is also very nervous about things involving commitment. It may seem like somebody is so afraid here. They're afraid of making um, a decision about the matter. They could be taking a step back, evaluating the offer that you're presenting. But it feels like they're frightened to make any final decision about this. It's not because they don't have feelings for you here, Libra. But this person is afraid of making a wrong decision, you know, because they know that decisions are powerful. It's going to affect someone's life, their life. All right. But I'm also seeing here, what if indecision is actually the cause of the confusion? Somebody not making up their mind. And you might actually be waiting, being very patient. When is this person going to make up their mind? This might be somebody's fear of making a mistake, harming you, harming themselves, losing something significant, or even fear of the responsibility. That's why you could have also felt like somebody was giving you crumbs or the short end of the stick. This is, of course, not a permanent energy. All right. Now, I'm seeing here, Libra, some of you may actually be setting a definite period to complete the decision and you're going to start moving forward. This is also the, the awareness of once I make up my mind, I'm going to put that decision into practice and I'm going to stick to it. So right now, you could still be in the decision making, trying to see both sides, trying to be patient, look for signs or wait for this person. Now, it could also be that somebody's giving you mixed signals, hot and cold with temperance. They can be a little bit wishy-washy with decision making here, Libra. Somebody's avoiding making a final decision about the matter could be that someone you thought that you already are heading towards commitment all of a sudden they swung into another direction you know they can't decide between this and that so i feel like this is the type of person that wants to be very certain about things they want some type of guarantee about some kind of outcome but life doesn't work that way right there's always this element of surprise we don't have full guarantee over things or control over things I see that this person might be trying to make a decision right now that can, that re, uh, revolves around this relationship, but then they also dissolve back into the confusion again. 
And I feel like it's because fear or insecurities is getting the best of this individual. All right, let me open that message further using this Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. So somebody's afraid of making a choice. They're taking their time, but also that indecision is actually what's causing the confusion. So it could be a matter of trusting one's decision here and carrying it through. You know, they need to trust in themselves. They, there's no need to fear because on the other side of fear is literally their destiny with the Six of Wands. This may also be somebody who has been through um, disappointments in the past, heartaches, missed opportunities, regrets, all of those low vibrational emotions that they need to release, okay? Because this is in the subconscious. They need a certain fresh outlook on seeing things here so that they can move forward with you. So first card is a victim card. All right, this is falling a victim of one's own fear, one's own mindset. It's a source of entrapment here. And I'm getting that somebody needs to overcome their fear and need to face the truth and fears and to acknowledge the pressure and constraint, the purging of negative attachment as well in order to start fresh with you. And I feel like this is affecting the root of their confidence, their ability to open up, all right? The ability here to enjoy life as it comes. Now, with the workaholic card, it could be also that this person is very focused on work right now with not a pentacles, very workaholic person, very methodical. Uh, this is the type of person that works long hours, you know, or they could be devoting themselves to work right now as a form of trying to avoid this decision that they need to make with you. Despondence. So for some reason, I'm getting this energy of depression. This may not resonate for all. The moon card, the four of cups, and despondence. It may be that somebody needs to love themselves. Somebody needs to take care of their, themselves better here, Libra. If that's you, you might be uh, already being very affected by the situation. It's important to take your power back here. All right? I feel like you guys really need to be in a position of acknowledging the hurt that you feel right now even though somebody could be very unreliable or detached from you you need to purge this negative attachment in order to shift the focus back on self all right to heal yourself to focus on self-love at this time now somebody may have also appeared very harsh towards you or so somewhat insensitive towards you i don't know why i'm picking that, that energy up uh four of cups they were very closed off all right, this also is somebody that does not want to be pressured. All right, but I feel like they're just avoiding the inevitable change with Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to build this wall to block the change because they're not able to face this fear, okay? It's not going to be a permanent energy Libra. I feel like somebody just needs to trust in themselves to make a decision about this. They're just too cautious right now. It may also be that in the past, this person was uh, a victim of some type of extreme pain, suffering. You know, it may have affected their overall ability to trust, if that's the case. This is the advice card for you, Libra. It says, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Let me read what this card is saying as advice. You may choose to take this advice or not. It's completely up to you. You are constantly being presented with situations that enable you to develop your inner wisdom and assist you in advancing to higher levels of understanding. The lesson is to be aware of these events and recognize them for what they are. To live a mindful life is not only about respecting and honoring those around you. It is also about recognizing every person and circumstance on your path as a teacher. The constant chatter and diversions of life on earth can distract you from the signposts that spirit has left on your path. Take the time to be aware of the bountiful wisdom that has been laid before you. Acknowledge these gifts and take them to heart as you continue to sojourn in this physical dimension. Don't look for the opportunities that you think you need. Instead, be receptive to the opportunities that are given. So that's what I'm seeing at this time. Libra, it could also apply for the person involved. They may need to stop looking for what's missing here with Four of Cups and just really start to open up with what is around them right now. The love, the attention, the energy, the opportunities. They're so afraid of opening up. 
them keeping out the hurt is also keeping out the joy is what I'm saying. And it's going to be a decision that they need to make. They need to be ready to expand their awareness and consciousness here. And shift towards a positive, out positive outlook. This is what I'm seeing for your reading, Libra. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you guys love and light and namaste.